Hey guys, it's Pub Kicker. Uh, we're going to work on the drift track again. Um, this will be part two of the video series. I'll uh, show you what I've gotten done so far and I'll give you some angles of what I'll, I've bent my pipe. Um, I've got some new stuff in for the axle setup uh, and also for the motor. Uh, but first, before we get to all that, we're going to have to do my little intro video, so we'll go ahead and cut to that right now. Alright guys, now that the intro is out of the way, <laughs> here's what we've got done. I've got stuff tack welded on here, and as you can see, for my front forks, I'm using the original forks. Uh, all I've done is tack welded my main frame to the top right here. And these are bent at 30 degree. That's a 30 degree bend right there on both sides. And then I measured and I got centered of it. And I took the saw and I cut me out a section in the middle. Um, after I've got this tack welded on there, I realized I need a little bit more support, so with my cross brace going across, I add another piece from here going up to the bottom. I then got the frame coming down, and it kicks to the back, goes all the way around, or out to the back. I added another piece on the back side. Then off of here, I bend another piece. 15 or 30 degree then it kicks straight another 30 degree bend comes back up here I've done it on both sides that's where my axle supports will go I will take these ones off like I said I got some new stuff for the for the rear axle these were just for a mock-up uh, after I done that real quick I will be adding another one of these right here straight across but I've got another one also here It comes all the way over to here. And before I put all this, the gussets on here, you could step on this frame and it would kind of bend just a little bit. So I added a gusset on this corner and the one on this corner. That is bent at 15 degree. Then I added another middle structure point comes from here goes all the way up to the middle and as you can see I've got a tack welded here this also is a 15 degree bend I don't roughly know all the measurements of how long I've done this stuff because I was basically eyeballing most of it this I do know is seven inches from the inside of this edge all the way to the inside of this edge but I'm gonna get these tack tack wells right here on these old uh, axle hangers I'm gonna get these ground off get these out of the way and I have new ones I have new bearings axle supports so uh, let me get this out of the way and we'll come back all right guys I've got the uh, old temporary axle hangers out of the way these are my new ones I got them from BMI uh, just as well as I got the clutch the chain uh, the sprockets so the axle I already had it came out of a go-kart that went over there in the corner um, I just robbed the axle out of that I'm using it but uh, you can go over there and get a lot of stuff my recommendation to you all though is when you order something from BMI carts make sure you order quite a few things because if not the shipping is going to eat you up on one item at a time um, Anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you on a tripod, and we're going to level these things up. I got my marks made up. I put a mark at two inches, because these are four inches by four inches. So you can see in the middle I have a mark. I'll line that up with this other mark that's going straight across. Make sure they're even in the middle of the tube. Tack weld it. Make sure it's good. Do the other side, and then I'll get a bead across both sides. And then we'll, uh, I'll just put you on the tripod and play some music while I'm doing it.
We have a party. All right, guys. There you go. As you can see, got my axle hangers on there. Got the new bearings. Got the new supports. The hubs uh, and the disc. I'm gonna have to clean these all up. Got the new sprocket on there. I'm gonna have to clean that hub up. Uh, the hub came with the go kart uh, axle already, but they've already painted all that stuff, so. I'm going to take it off and I'll probably find a sandblaster and sandblast it all back to raw aluminum. Uh, the wheels, that's the stance of it. That's what it's going to look like. Let me scoop back here so you can see it. Just like that right there. Uh, the motor will go back here. The seat will be up here. Uh, my hand throttle and everything is coming in the mail. I am going to sand it all down in the frame and the front wheel. It's going to be like a, a, a purple, an anodized purple. So uh, keep watching. I do have the clutch installed on the motor. As you can see, it's a little centrifugal clutch. It's a little 212cc, which is a 6.5. It's just a Honda knockoff. I also, I'll show you this. This is the chain that I'm using. It's number 35. chrome chain so that should look pretty good on there uh, I'm gonna order some lockers some axle lockers and stuff like that that way my uh, axle does not slide around on me and neither does my hubs or anything like that so before y'all pointing out that I don't have any on there I will be getting some I'll have one on each side of the uh, sprocket hubs and the brake hub and then I have one on the outside of the bearing hanger on both sides keeps the axle still and keeps my uh, hubs still also all right guys as usual i couldn't stop working on this trike so i'm going to add this on too so here we go i'll show you what we're doing now we are adding the front foot supports now they will not stick out that long i will cut them off somewhere 
where I've got them leveled up and it's the, the perfect angle on both sides. So I'm going to tack weld them right down on each side down through here and we'll come back. All right, guys. <clears throat> what I thought was going to be a little update on this trike has actually going to turn into a bigger one than what I thought. Uh, I am working on this thing again. I'm back out here in the shop. So we're going to continue plugging away on it. Let me show you what I've got done. I've got one side tack welded in there for the foot peg. I got the the front the inner foot peg tacked on this side. I had to go buy another piece of uh, steel tubing, so I'll I'll get that one on there. But right now, what I'm also working on is a seat. And I took this off of the old Sears that I got. I can always order me another one, but I want to get this mounted on there. I like the way the seat looks on here. So, here's my ideal. I'm going to take some quarter inch flat stock. And I've already cut a few pieces. And I'll show you right here. What I'll do is I will shape this around for both sides. And I've got four of these. I'm going to shape them around, and I'll drill a hole through them. I'll take two of those, and I'm going to tack weld them right here. And I'll weld another one over there. Then I'll flip the seat over, and I'll weld the other ones on the bottom of it. And what I'll do is I'll put a bolt in each side, and then I'll make it to where it can pivot up and down. Then I'm going to take another piece of flat stock. And I'm going to weld it from here over on to here. Then I'll take me some springs and set them down. That way I'll have a little bit of spring in this truck. So let me get this shaped out how I want it. And the other one, and we'll come back.
All right, guys. It's late. It's like uh, almost 10:30 at night. I'm sure my neighbors are probably hating me right now. But I'm gonna call it quits for the night. Uh, I'll spin you around here, show you what I've got done, and uh, I'm I'm hoping you all like this field so far. Uh, comment in the description below if you have questions. Uh, let me know what you think of the build so far. And I may change the color up. Um, kind of want this thing to pop, so I'm thinking black and orange. Same thing as the uh, the full wheeler that I painted. And you can see the, the orange really pops on that black. But, here we go. This is it. But... Yeah. Anyhow, here we go. This is it. There you go. I hope y'all like that. I have put a double foot brace. And what I'll do later is I'll add one more section, probably back here. That way the back of your foot can rest here and the front of your foot can rest there. And maybe a little bit closer, you know, just a little hole to where you're your foot can sit down in. Uh, that is that is what I'm going to call almost complete. I took the seat off of uh, the old Sears mower that I got. I'm just going to order me another one for it. And I've made some brackets. And it does tilt up and back, up and back. Uh, I put springs underneath of there. I don't know how well you can see that. But you can see the brackets that I've made. Uh, it will give me a cushion ride and it does sink down a little bit when I sit on it if it don't sink down enough I can cut probably uh, one or two rings off of those springs This thing It's it's building out to be a little bit better than what I expected it to be but anyhow um, I Think I'm gonna order me some spikes that come out from the front on each side There'll be two on each side up front and then I'm going to order some spike for the uh, throttle uh, setup that I'm getting, my handlebars. I can order some spike inlays for that. So I'll order some from there. And also, I'll order some for the back, back here also. So that'll be two, four, six, eight spikes. Uh, that should help it give a little bit more of an aggression kind of look, you know. But um, let me walk you through and show you what I've done. As you can tell, yes, I've built the foot, the foot uh, rest. I built support to help hold that foot rest too. Coming down, I also added this in the middle just to help with a little aesthetic look. Uh, as you can see, when you get over the top of it, it is going to look kind of off when you're back at an angle. But that's just because that pipe is actually sticking out further than the rest. As you can see, your middle pipe sticks out further. But, uh, I've got my hangers all welded in. I went ahead and welded around every pipe uh, tonight. So it is fully welded. But, as of now, this is how it is looking. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the color choice. Um, I'm thinking maybe the front rim would be orange. The seat would be orange. The frame would be blacked out. Uh, I may paint the hubs of the, the sprockets, the, uh, just the hubs of the sprocket and the brake rotor. I may paint those orange also. Um, might paint the motor shroud orange and then the rest of it just be black. I don't want to go, you know, too much overkill. But anyhow, I hope you all are enjoying this build. Like I said, it's real late. Uh, my wife is probably already in bed. So she's probably going to be aggravated, but hey, we got to sacrifice for the build, right? But that is what the complete front stance looks like. So I hope you all enjoy my builds. I hope you all are enjoying this one. Um, I'm not sure. I kind of thought about kind of making, making one spike up front right here. You can see a mosquito on my finger. He, uh, I guess he's a little hungry there. Anyhow, thought about making one, one spike come up front here 
and a spike come up front here. But I hope you all like the build. So uh, this is going to be more of an update than what I thought, like I said. So we are really, really close to having this thing done. In fact, I think uh, I think we can start sanding this thing down, uh, getting it completely stripped. I got to give me some acetone, and we're going to start painting this thing. So let me know what you think. Black and orange or anodized uh, metallic purple. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for watching.